Hi, I'm Jamie. I'm a senior and I'm a Red Jacket Ambassador. I'm doing great. How are y'all doing today? <laughs> Good. So what are you doing at this moment? I'm walking around the school. I'm getting to see our lovely campus again and it's been a while so I'm glad to finally be here. I am a virtual learner this year but I'm so glad to be here right now. What is something that you do as a Red Jacket Ambassador? Um, so we are all actually split into different groups. So the group that I'm a part of, I'm a part of the individual contributions group. So I'm in charge of connecting with the teachers, making them feel appreciated, um, and doing you know small things for the staff just to let them know that we are so grateful for their service. So going into CHS as a freshman, did you know you wanted to be a red jacket? Yes, I did. I saw, of course, I connected with people. Um, when I came here, which is kind of sad that I can't do this year, but um, I, when I was a freshman, of course, I was actually really close to going to New Tech, um, so I probably I made a last minute decision to come to CHS, and I'm so thankful that I'm here. Of course, the staff at New Tech is just as great as CHS, um, so it's definitely a different opportunity, but I'm glad to be here, um, and I the thing that changed my mind was actually a red jacket, and I came here pri for like a private kind of tour um, after, you know, of course the 8th graders come and visit, and I really connected with her and really connected with her activities, and it made me decide to come here, and I wanted to give someone else the same opportunity, so hopefully later this year we will have in-person virtual um, tours instead of virtual tours, but it's still great to be a part of such um, an awesome organization. Okay. <laughs> Who do you like getting advice from? Probably my mom. My mom is my mom is incredible. Um, she has definitely had a lot of life experiences. She was in the Air Force too. She was a flight surgeon, and now she is an internist at Baylor Scott and White. And she has had a lot of ex different experiences in a lot of different educational settings, social settings, and um, military settings. And she is so wise. And I really appreciate all that she has to say to me. She's definitely someone who I can come to with any problems or questions, and she's always there for an answer. So what advice would you give to your freshman yourself? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I definitely freaked out my first year of high school. Um, I was really worried about grades. I was really worried about, um, you know, um, social status and honestly that's just not important. Um, I think letting go and just enjoying your high school experience is so important and I sometimes it's okay to fail on a test you know it's not all about being perfect because high school is a great place to learn so relax let go have fun because this time will go by like that. How do you think you've grown since then? I feel like I've loosened up <laughs> a little bit which is good. Um, I definitely feel like I do have some more room to grow though. Um, like I said, I'm pretty goal oriented, but in some cases that is a good thing. But I am, I really think um, from my freshman uh, year to my senior year, I've learned to cope with adversity a little bit more. Um, and I've gotten a little bit more used to um, try having to work hard after failure, and I don't give up very easily. So what's something that you've learned as a Red Jacket Ambassador? Um, I've learned a lot about leadership. So we've had to come up with unique ways to get together because usually Red Jackets, sometimes we do lunches, sometimes we do in-person meetings, and lately um, we haven't had the opportunity to do that. So we've been connecting in small Zoom meetings to discuss different leadership books. And we've read so far two, and we have one coming up next week. And um, so far I've learned about the different qualities of, um, instead of focusing on your internal atmosphere, focusing on the, at, uh, the external atmosphere and the positive sides of things, the, such as, you know, the glasses um, half full rather than half empty. And I've learned all about how to handle like, different sorts of situations and adversity and it's really helped me um, cement in the ideas that I already have um, and helped me understand how to react in certain situations and how to deal with certain other people. So what would you say to an underclassman that is thinking about trying out for Red Jackets? Go for it. The, oh my gosh, the teachers and the community is always so well knit. Um, I, Mrs. Leindecker, Mr. Walker, Miss Arnold, they're the greatest. And 
I am so thankful to be a part of such an awesome organization. And if you love service and you love giving back to your community and other people, this is definitely the organization for you. And it's so special to be a part of it. So where do you see yourself after high school? I am planning on majoring in um, cell and molecular biology at Oklahoma City University. And I do want to go to medical school. Um, I'm very interested in oncology and cardiology, and I hope to pursue that um, post, you know, post uh, undergraduate. Is there anything else you'd like to add? See, Jess, I'm. I wish I could be here with you every day, and I wish I could be greeting people at the door and letting you know that you are so loved. And I'm. I'm doing it from afar, and the Red Jackets are so thankful for this community, the staff, the administrators, the students, and parents, of course, and we are so grateful to serve you. Go Cowboys!